So this is my pole. As you can see, this is uh, this having visible LD problems. See the green one it's all over. And this is the, the body of algae that died. So this is much worse two weeks ago. The whole water is, is green. Basically, you cannot see the bottom. So what I did to clean up to this point is that <coughs> besides in the skimmer, besides adding these uh, uh, chlorine tablets, I also you also need the pull shock. I'll show you the shock. So this is the pull shock. So you can see this comes in a one pound bag. You, you may also purchase it in the, just the, the powder in the, in, the, in the bucket. So for a pool this size, you need to add two of these bags, one pound bags, each time to, for it to be effective. Once you shock the pool, uh, the water should clear up. Uh, all the algae in the water should be gone. And then you just have to clean up uh, the algae dead body in the in the water and uh, it's also helpful to add some baking soda or algae side but the chlorine shock is really what does the, the trick so besides this so after shocking the pool what you need to do to clean up is use your, your uh, pool filter this is the Hayward sand filter normally in this position is the filter position it's regular position to clean out all the debris on the on the bottom of the pool I recommend you use waste because that does not go through this filter uh, it just pretty much sucks the water out of the, the pool and uh, pour it out right? to avoid making the filter really dirty use the waste first to clean up the most chunks of, uh, of debris then after that um, you can use regular filter uh, setting to, uh, to suck the, uh, the smaller junk and to, to, uh, to get the, the, the bottom uh, most already clean because this waste is going to waste a lot of water right? you only do it for a brief minute or two to clean up the, the biggest chunk then you use this filter set, uh, setting to filter most of the uh, to, to vacuum most of the pool. After that, because your your filter might be dirty, you might, you want to do a backwash for about two minutes. You can see from the from this this indicator, the water will flow in there. If it's dirty, you will, you will see right away. And once it's cleared up after the, the backwash uh, setting, go to a rinse cycle for about a minute to rinse the sand then you can go back to regular filter setting for the uh, most of the time so basically what we're first gonna do a waste or a regular it's up to you um, so what you use is the water vacuum so here is the three main components of the water vacuum the hose and the, the pole and the vacuum head so what you do is basically connect connect the, the vacuum head to the pole and then connect the hose one side of the hose to this to the water intake and then the other side of the hose you stick to your skimmer take the take the basket out connect that to the, the skimmer uh, water pipe, so that when you when you run the, the the filter on the either the waste or the regular filter setting, the water will be sucked down here through the that water hose and through and basically sucking water out the out of the vacuum head, so the the dirty stuff will go out to the pipe through here. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, you can see I've connected this. It's like this, and the, the long pole connected with the vacuum head, and vacuum hand connected to the to the tube to the pipe. So we're going to connect the tube to the other side. 
there you go long pole I put the vacuum head in the water already connecting from here going inside to the skimmer now we're going to turn on the waste cycle and vacuum the big chunks okay the first step is done waste cycle so you have vacuumed up all the big blank black pools of dead body it's kind of clear now okay okay now that that's done I'm set it back to regular filter actually uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do I have to clean up this basket as well because although you're using waste cycle it doesn't dirty your sand but it does go through this basket so this will be dirty so just loosen the screws and take out the plastic cover and you can see whoa you can see how dirty this is I have to clean this up okay now we have cleaned up the basket while we're at it we're gonna uh, use the garden hose to add some more water into the pool because we are wasting a lot of water cleaning the, the, the uh, debris okay the basket is back in place we'll just put back the cover secure the lid screw it tight And look, look at uh, this wind, this water window. It looks pretty dirty. There's some sand in there. And so we're gonna do a go ahead and do a backwash cycle, clean up before we go back to normal filter. Okay, backwash. Turn on the filter. So you can see the water window. It's going to take a while for the water to suck up the air and the vacuum in the pipes before the water can flow through this. But once it flows, you can see how dirty the water is. Okay, water pressure is now up. See the window? It's green. It's basically algae and uh, dead bugs, dirt, everything. So we're going to clear this out. Once it's kind of clear, we'll stop the backwash because it also wastes a lot of water. And possibly a little bit of your sand. The color is better now. It's not that green anymore. Once it's cleared up, we'll do a uh, rinse cycle, then set back to regular filtering so that we can keep filtering the water until it's crystal clear. Meanwhile, you want to add more uh, chlorine tablet or chalk powder and some baking soda. Now, as for the algae on the, the wall of the, the pool, use a brush. Here is the regular pool brush, brush the, the wall, so scrape the dead algae off the wall so that it can be sucked up by the filter. Once that's all done, your pool should be clean.